Stones coming out, Aerosmith, Starplex on October 3rd. Don't forget the Rolling Stones come rolling into Dallas in November. Guys, right, back with Live and Loud and Mission Red. Man, great set. How's it going? You can tell. Yeah. You got that bad hair day going on. John on bass guitar. We have Tom, or known to his friend as Moose. We'll get to that later. Yeah. And of course, we have Chris <laughs> on uh, vocals and lead. Of course, Tom, don't even get on the vocals that he does as well. You guys can split it 50 50. Yeah. yeah. Try to, at least. Try to. <laughs> they don't run enough songs for me, though. Those drums seem to be fine, huh? <laughs> <laughs> now, you know, a lot of people think you guys are a new band, but you've been around for a while. You've been in together for like three years and been on the club scene for about two years. So, uh, I mean, how's it, how's it working out? What's going on? What are you guys looking forward to? Playing. Play, play, play. play. Give play. Us we like to play. We don't, we don't make money at it, that's we'll for sure. Take your money and we'll play for you. <laughs> but you know, I'm, I'm really impressed with you guys because um, you do what uh, most of the bands I like do. You go out, it doesn't matter what size crowd it is. Play your hearts out, man. I, I, sometimes, you know, I'll be like standing up there close to the stage, and you've got a large crowd, and sometimes it's maybe a. And you guys just play the same great show every time. Yeah, we we learned that about a year and a half ago. You know, we used to feed off the people. We really gotta feed the people. That's so. how it is. Well, it's gotta be everything or nothing. It's all the way. But you guys have got enough experience. I mean, like 29 years, right? Is that right? Between, yeah, combined. Between? Yeah, combined. Sure. But you're all 50 and just take him. <laughs> <laughs> Something I want to talk to you about later, if that's the truth. But uh, no, I, I know you've opened for a lot of national acts too. Uh, uh, Pat Travers, that's yeah, one of the days. Pat Travers still. Now, how'd that uh, come about? Well, uh, uh, Smoke Dave, Dave called us. Yeah. Called us up, see if we wanted to do it. So. He's a good guy. We've played there quite a few times. He yeah, takes he's... care of us. Uh, yeah. Dave takes care of the band. Yes, he does. I know a lot of people. It's That's good cool. to hear, you know, they had that rumor going around that he's going to close down or something like that. So it's good to hear that Lies. he's still going. Oh, yeah. yeah. And he does. He has a lot of great acts in there, of course. So I'm sure it was. Was that the first national band that you opened up for? Or is that? That's our only, I think. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, I'm sure That's there's a, more in real, a real experience. I mean, yeah. Yeah. you know. I used to have the dude's A track, man. So <laughs> I still do, yeah. Were you shaking as bad as you were up there just a few minutes ago? No. <laughs> you know, this is so weird because, you know, like you said, we play for the crowd, you know. People are there to watch us, you know. It's just it's real weird doing this just now. Hey, I was over there clapping. <laughs> now, you guys have got something really exciting going on. I mean, you met Rick Perry at a um, Harder Beat seminar, and he remembered you from, like, what, three years ago or something like that when you first got together. What's going on there? It's like a special thing going on there, right? Well, see, I've, I've known Rick Perry going all the way back when he used to be in this band called Warlock. And going way back to Tombstone Day. Some of y'all people might remember that out there. But, yeah, so I've known him a while. Now, he's putting you in touch with someone, though, right? Someone in Europe? Yeah, well, we're going for some Europe magazines. Uh, we're going to be sending out promo packs, trying to get some promotion overseas, uh, Germany, England, and stuff like that. Uh, Things are real good over there. Texas bands do real good over in Europe. Well, hopefully they're going to start doing even better over here. You know, um, I have you know friends of, uh, from Bill Ben Ullman, Kenny Powell from Stepchild. You know, and it, it, you can really build a good base overseas. But uh, of course, your promotion and everything is real important over here as well. Now, what's going on? Do you have a, uh, a management a company here, or no? We we manage ourselves pretty much. Uh, You're playing a lot of gigs, I know. Yeah, yeah. We, we do our managing and our booking. It's been learning over the past couple of years. You keep know, what it takes. Line, you know. Yeah, I mean, we we don't we don't worry about money. Of course, we'd like to make money doing this, but you know, it's so tough out there. So hey, there's not a musician know. alive, but if you were in it for the money, you'd be. Yeah. You know, we just like to play. <laughs> we really do. We really like to play, especially this dude. He loves playing live. Hates practicing.